This is the solution to written homework 41. So it says factor uh, the following. Okay. Well, can I think of two numbers whose product is 6 and whose sum is negative 9? No, not off the top of my head. So we're going to switch to the related exercise of solving the equation 3x squared minus 9x plus 2 is equal to 0. And we're going to solve it with the quadratic formula. So that would be negative, negative 9 plus or minus square root of negative 9 squared minus 4 times 1, no, 4 times 3 times 2, and all of this divided by 2 times 3, so x is 9, <coughs> and then what's under the radical? So that would be 81 uh, minus 4 times 3 times 2, so that'd be 57, so plus or minus square root 57 divided by 6. So the two solutions are 9 minus square root 57 divided by 6 and 9 plus square root 57 divided by 6. So we have the two solutions to this equation and the key insight is that Th these two solutions correspond to two factors to this. So x minus 1 solution multiplied by x minus the other solution is going to be the answer. <coughs> and we have a 3 because the polynomial to factor was not monic. So this corresponds to this one. This corresponds to this one. And <coughs> this corresponds to that one. <coughs> so just copying now, that would be 9 minus square root 57 divided by 6 and 9 plus the square root of 57 divided by 6. Okay, so we factored it. Now let's factor this one. Okay, again, can we think of two numbers whose product is 12 and whose sum is 5. 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, no. So let's work on the related exercise. Let's solve the corresponding uh, quadratic equation. So 2 w squared plus 5 w plus 6 equals 0. So the solution should be w is negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 2 times 6. All of this divided by 2 times 2. So w is negative 5 plus or minus the square root of, well how much is in the radical? So that would be 25 minus 4 4 times 2 times 6 would be negative 23 over 4. So that means that because we have a negative in the radical that there is no real solution. And as a result of this, the correct response to the request to factor this is to say that this is prime.
in the reals. So you can see that over here at the equation. Because the fact that it has no real solutions means that it will not factor any further.